In this video, I'll be talking about Nicolas Pepe as him leaving Arsenal has now been officially confirmed. I also talk about Gabriel Magalhaes as he's officially made his Brazilian debut and also some news about Martin Odegaard's new contract. Starting off with the news about Nicolas Pepe and as I discussed a few days ago, we all knew that he was going to be going to, to Japan Sport in Turkey. And now it was confirmed that Jabon Sport put out a tweet and you can clearly see here that it's Nicolas Pepe's, you know, signature celebration. So they've confirmed it and they've also put a picture of him in their shirt as well. And Arsenal, they don't actually confirm he's going there, but they have actually confirmed that they have terminated his contract. This came a few days later and people were wondering that would Arsenal get a fee? What have they done? But it turns out that it's a contract termination. And I think we, you know, we hadn't really have too much choice to be honest because Saudi Arabia were the only ones who were probably willing to give a fee. But if Nicolas Pepe never wanted to go there, then, you know, not much you can do. So we have to terminate his contract so he can go to Turkey. And as I've already discussed, it's a big, big shame from, you know, when he came in, the whole world and Arsenal fans excited. Looked like an unbelievable player and struggled at first and, you know, has, still has bits of quality in my opinion. But certain basics he lacks and, you know, his decision making and Arteta just in general isn't a actually a big fan of him so is what it is you know we have to move on and you know this is a setting for a lot of money which unfortunately has not worked out from buying him for 72 million for him leaving on a free now a few years later is you know not a very good deal but it's a mistake by the old regime and let's hope we don't make these kind of mistakes again because it's a very very expensive one but as for Pepe you know he's always tried his best always been professional you know I have nothing against him and I really hope he smashes it into and gets his career back on track and you know hopefully you know enjoys his football again but as for his Arsenal career that is officially over he will not you know be playing for us ever again now and let's hope he does very well in Turkey and has a good time as I just said so Nicolas Pepe officially terminated his contract with Arsenal unfortunately he didn't get any money but I always thought that this was you know they're going to have to be the conclusion which is getting rid of his deal and he will be going to Turkey and leaving Arsenal officially so Nicolas Pepe to to Trabon Sport is now done and pretty much official. But moving on to the other little bits of news today and that is Gabriel Magalhaes starting off with him and he's made his Brazilian debut. Obviously was pretty unlucky in my opinion to not go to the World Cup as he didn't really get picked and I thought that was a real shame as I thought he deserved to but it is what it is now he's finally been called up as we all know and he got his Brazil debut last night actually when Brazil beat Bolivia 5-1. I obviously didn't watch the game but you know apparently he had a good performance and you can see his player rating here obviously doesn't really mean too much because you can take player ratings you know it's a little bit weird at times but you know lots of Brazilian fans very happy with his debut as it looks like and hopefully he can become a regular starter for that Brazil team with Thiago Silva getting older and I know lots of Arsenal fans would prefer him to stay at Arsenal because you know it's better for the team probably because he gets rest and you know less likely to get injured but for himself and even even for his reputation it's very very nice that he should hopefully be playing more for Brazil but just wanted to bring this in as it's a very very good accomplishment from Gabriel Magalhaes that he has officially made his Brazilian debut and let's hope there's more performances to come for Brazil and hopefully has a very good international career along with Arsenal of course and finally just some news from Fabrizio Romano who confirms that Arsenal are planning to continue talks with Martin Odegaard over a new long-term contract in the next week slash months. The discussions are now ongoing with Odegaard next to be the top player to sign the new deal after Saliba, Gabriel, Saka, Ramsdale, Martinelli and Reese Nelson. So we've heard that uh, Arsenal have opened contract talks with Odegaard and we all know that discussions are ongoing. Whether a player is super happy or if there's you know some confusion, these contract talks always take a long time as there's so many legal details to sort out. So I can't imagine this will get announced or even done anytime soon even though I think it's pretty clear that Odegaard will be staying at the club. I don't think there's actually any fear of him leaving the club. He's club captain, you know, finally found a home in North London and is clearly very happy. So there's next to no chance that he will be leaving the club and even if this contract talks go on to delay a little bit, I'm still not worried. Him and Ben White are next in line and they should be pretty easy to get done but again, they, you know, contract talks can take a little bit to get done. Lots of stuff to sort out but, you know, when there's a breakthrough and, you know, when it's a official or anything like that obviously we'll let you know but also are planning to
to continue talks with Odegaard and hopefully it'll be done as soon as possible but again no rush but I'm very confident that he will be signing a new long term deal as there's pretty much zero reason not to but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below what your thoughts on Nicolas Pepe officially leaving the club and are you disappointed that Arsenal didn't get a fee or do you understand them terminating his deal what your thoughts on Odegaard potentially getting a new contract as well and obviously Gabriel's Brazilian debut obviously a pretty short video as during the international break Arsenal aren't playing games and the transfer window is you know obviously closed so there's not too much to talk about hence why I didn't do a video yesterday as there was pretty much nothing and some of the news from yesterday got carried on from today international games will still be going on but Arsenal should hopefully be back as soon as possible as we all miss them but as I said before let me know your thoughts on this video and everything I've discussed make sure you also check out their daily Arsenal news that I did a couple of days ago what I discussed Mikel Arteta's nomination for manager of the month and also Nicolas Pepe leaving the club but as for this video make sure you smash a like as it really helps make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one